You think about where technology is today, there's three trends that are really driving the industry. Social, global, and mobile. And those three trends, those three driving trends, are going to drive the industry and frankly drive changes in the world that we can only begin to see today. And enabling all that, KLA 10 Core is part of the solution that's going to enable that trend. KLA 10 Core, in order to keep up with its customers, needs to be able to innovate every two years. We provide three generations of uh, inspection and metrology to our customers. We need to be thinking ahead of what will be needed two and four years from now. And in order to do that, we need to start developing six years before. Moore's law, most people think about it as a, a law of dimension. It's actually a law of economics. It's a way that our customers can make a transistor for cheaper than they made it before. And the idea was that every 18 months, the cost of a transistor will go down by 50%. You know, for the consumer, the thing to remember about Moore's Law is it's the reason that you have that phone on your hip. It's the reason that the internet works. It's the reason that it's now possible to have everything you've ever done recorded and stored and transferred to your friends. All of the things that you're seeing with, with how technology is affecting our lives is possible because Moore's Law hasn't just made things more powerful, it's made things cheaper for each level of power. So in order to make semiconductors, you start with a bare wafer, which is silicon, which comes from sand. And at the end of it, you end up with a chip that it goes into, let's say, a smartphone. And between that, there are thousands of steps that involve putting materials down, taking materials off, making patterns. The problem is, if any errors happen along the way, the chip's not going to work. So KLA 10 Core's job is to identify where those problems might happen, enable people to have the information to fix those problems. KLA and 10 Core, and together KLA 10 Core, exist because in 1975, three men had a vision. On the one side was Ken Levy and Bob Anderson, and they formed KLA, and the other side was Carl Urbanek, who formed 10 Core. And their vision was, if they could bring automated inspection and measurement to the semiconductor industry. They could provide a service that would allow this industry to grow and prosper and thrive and at the same time create enduring companies that could do the same. Well, Ken and I had met at uh, Computer Vision Corporation and during these periods we came to a conclusion that with our talents we could successfully launch a, uh, a high technology leading company for the industry. The first product we did at KLA was the KLA 100 uh, automated photo mask inspection system. And that hit the market just perfectly. Large scale integrated circuits were just becoming uh, to be produced in volume. And the quality of the photo mask was starting to play a very important role in the yield of those devices. We had the benefit of the industry recognizing a very serious need. Uh, Bob Noyce of Intel had made a comment that to find defects on a photo mask was the equivalent of finding a needle in a haystack. And so there was uh, a lot of recognition that the industry was at an important technology point of solving that problem. Carl had been through a difficult period uh, after he sold the first company, Randex. From his personal experience, he did see there would be a market for um, an instrument which would be uh, easy to use, fast, reliable. That's how he uh, decided to do the uh, Alpha Step. When asked uh, why the two companies uh, merged, the reason for the, for the merger was not a reactive, but it was a forward planning uh, endeavor. By 1997, I saw the opportunities as this is going to make a really uh, strong critical mass and that we would be able to become a really great company. Kaylee and Tencor were two companies that had fairly complementary product lines. We didn't actually overlap or compete all that much, save for one area way for inspection. And so by putting the two companies together, we were able to get you know, economies of scale across the two companies and combine our way for inspection efforts and their way for inspection efforts into something that together was far better than we would have been able to pull off separately.
In the mid-90s, KLA Tencor introduced inline inspection, not just the tool that could do inline inspection, but the methodology in working with customers to develop the process by which one could regularly monitor the health of their lines and turned out to be very beneficial to them, gave them a competitive advantage, and consequently we sold a lot of tools. Well, I think, I think I'd have to highlight four big success stories for our company. Now, there are many, many others, but, but these four to me stand out. First, of course, is reticle inspection itself and the business of inspecting these reticles versus the synthetic image that was supposed to generate them in the first place. That was profoundly new. It happened at a critical time in the, in the early part of the industry. It was the founding business for the KLA side of what ultimately became KLA 10 Core. But if it hadn't happened, if that first business, if that first invention hadn't happened, none of this would be here. The growth of the company, the, the real sort of first knee of the curve, if you will, came when we, we invented the Brightfield Inspector. And the idea that people would actually not just look at the reticles, but the wafers, and not just look at some of the wafers, but all of the wafers. And that this could be done fast enough and in an economic way created a whole s segment of business and products for us that, that today are one of the anchor businesses of our company. The third product um, worth mentioning is, of course, the Bear Wafer Inspector, originally pioneered by Tencor. The bare wafers have to be perfect, perfect the way the reticles have to be perfect. Pits, defects, contamination, perfect. And the idea of inventing a tool that was fast enough and economical enough to do that and produce this family of products that today are the backbone of all of these wafer sorting businesses. And the fourth thing I'd highlight is our overlay metrology business because, not just because of its technology prowess, but because it was our first business perhaps where we saw our company globalize, where we saw that talent and engineers from all over the world could be brought together in one company and create successful products with innovation that was derived both in the home country and back at headquarters. Well, globalization, I believe, is one of the most important trends we've seen in our industry in the last um, 20, 30 years, certainly in my 40 plus years of being in the industry. We can't just have a global business here in Malpitas. We need to have a global business that has a footprint uh, wherever we do business. I'd love to see 35 years from now uh, where the company winds up because, because it'll be there and it'll be good. Ken Levy, Bob Anderson, and Carl Urbanek have built this foundation. We've taken it to a certain level, but I view us being at base camp and I think there's more mountains to climb.